Welcome to another exciting edition of The Juice. Our guest today is somebody that I'm very, very happy to talk to. She's somebody that I look up to. She's one of the sexiest, 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 sexiest actresses in Nigeria. Omotola. <laughs> Finally! Oh, okay, me. <laughs> Finally! We've been trying to get you on The Juice couch for like, how many months now? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm very good. I'm happy to be here. Uh, you look lovely, by the way. Thank you. Liking the beating and everything. Uh, first off, congratulations. Oh, wait, no, it's oh, iconic in vanity. Okay, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do they have it in my side? <laughs> oh, of course. They very nice. Ideas. Okay, so Stories. did you say you'd leave that for me when you go? If you want it, why not? Okay. No, I won't because you can sell it on eBay and then make all the money. No, I'd wear it. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. I'd actually wear it for the next, <laughs> juice. The next juice. It wouldn't work. <laughs> it wouldn't. All right. So first, first off, congratulations on making the um, Times, what's it, most influential, 100 most influential people in the world. You made that list. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I bet that's something that you can actually put on your business card. Absolutely. Yes. Actually, yes. So what, <laughs> what, number, what number do they put you? I don't know. I don't actually think anybody was in any particular order. I think it was just in categories. Okay. And I was in the icon category, so. So let's just let's just understand how big of a deal this is. Some of the other people on the list were. Um, okay, let's start from the top. Huh? Okay. Barack Obama. Okay. Michelle Obama. Um, my idol, <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Is he my idol? He's with a guy and he's a director, right? Anyway, then Daniel Day Lewis. Um, wow. Beyonce, Jay Z. Um, and then the political people, you know, there are many. The Chi Chinese president and... So technically, you could kind of say that me and Barack Obama, okay, you and Barack Obama are in the same category. Yeah, I can say that for once yeah. in my life. I think you put that, <laughs> I think you put that on, your, on your business card as well. In the same yeah. category with Barack Obama, give me your money. <laughs> no, just say, just say, in the same category with the likes of Barack Obama, Beyonce knows all of these people. Thanks Have for like the idea. that idea. I'll think about that. I think that's good. Great yeah. way to sell yourself. Anyone that you kind of, you know, maybe you saw them and they were coming over, you're like, oh my God, be cool. I'm oh, well, that happened cool. to me. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to form, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to form. It happened when we got into the, into the venue and, you know, after the first, because they only picked 20 portraits, you know, to put yeah. in, the, in the Time Walk of Fame. And my portrait was one of them. That was one of the first moments I was like, oh my God, like this is really happening. And then when I got into the, you know, so I, was, I hadn't really come out of that. I was still yeah. in that daze, like, wow, my portrait is up there. Just 20 portraits and they picked me. And so I, I got into the, into the, you know, um, the dinner place and then they showed me to my table. And I didn't look at the names, mm -hmm. you know, because I was like, oh, let me just sit down. And, you know, and I sat down and my manager was behind me. And so I, I guess he had seen it. So he adjusted um, the name so I could see it. And so he put the name this way and I saw, Daniel Day Lewis, and I was like, <laughs> and the so you can imagine, I was confused. I was like, why is his name on my table? And then he went, Oh Lord, he's sitting next <laughs> so to me. I sat down, I, I tried, so I, I, I did that. I just thought, I was like, <laughs> and, then I took, and I turned, I was like, Oh, Mosola, please don't disgrace yourself. Oh, <laughs> don't put yourself. And I, I took him, and I, I was trying so hard not to turn around, and I stood, I was all red, and I was like, God, how, how does this happen? Like, what do I say? You know, should I say something? Should I ask him questions? Please tell me you finally said something <laughs> to him. No, he said many things to me and I was great for it. I mean, he, look, sometimes we take ourselves for granted, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, or we don't, we don't know enough. Mm -hmm. These people want to meet you. You know, they're, they're inquisitive. They want to know, they've read. And, you know, so sometimes you don't even need to jump. Like they would yeah. ask you anyway, you know what I mean? So I, I sat down there and I was trying to put myself together and then guess who was on my left? Who? Steven Spielberg. Oh wow. And so the first thing I, I said got to myself- business card. No, I didn't. Oh. They don't give out their business cards. But I mean- He's BB pin? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know he has a BB, but if he wants to get to me, he knows how to get to me. How about that? This is Flamingo Airline Flight 212. We have an emergency. Please. So well done, fantastic thing. Um, so lots to talk about. We've got to talk about your music. And you said, you know, you um, were well hanging with Justin Timberlake. And then I saw like a tweet where I think you're working with, is it Bert Simmons? Okay, yes. Do you and know him? His music. Okay. Yes, yeah, not him personally. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then who else? Who else? Um, drummer boy. I did something with Bobby V. <laughs> Bobby Valentino. Yeah. Oh, now um, known as Bobby V. Yeah. Kendrick Dean. You know, those are the folks I worked with in the States. And then um, Planet Six. Okay. Yeah. Some pretty, so, some pretty impressive names on the list. So when is this album dropping? Seriously, I don't know. <laughs> That's the truth. I could sit here and lie and say, oh, very soon or next year or this year. Yeah. I really don't know. And the reason for that is because my movie career is not letting me do anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, I... Isn't it ironic? I mean, like, the things you love the most in yeah. life are the things sometimes that you struggle with the most. Like, I love music almost more than acting, and that's the only thing I can't get right. It's very frustrating to me. Do you think there will ever be a point where you say, leave acting for music? I've, I, seriously, I've thought about it a, a couple of times. I, I, I can't, even if I want to. I can't because, you know, things won't let me, and naturally, you know, something you're used to, you just can't walk away. If I could, in a perfect world where I could just say, you know, mm -hmm. I don't need the money, I don't need the attention, yeah. I don't need, you know, the, the glorification of being, you know, an actor or whatever, then, you know, the, the, the pure spirit in me wants to, because okay. I really do love music. I, I love to perform. So why did you decide to kind of go after music? Because I can. I don't think anybody should stop you from doing whatever you want to do. Besides, it's entertainment, okay? If I were a doctor and I was just a GP, I could decide tomorrow I want to go into, um, you know, surgery or I want to go study on this or I want to go into another field. And it's okay, you okay. know, but when it comes to entertainment, then you want to, because you know people already in a particular, you know, field or in a yeah. particular area, then you want to box them into that area. It's mm. not done. It's entertainment. Entertainment is entertainment. Entertainment is entertainment. It is entertainment. Okay. But you can do something. There are people who talk through music. Haven't you heard? Like, oh. Like, yes, yes. yeah, you, hello, good morning, dun, 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 dun. how are you doing, dun, 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 dun. someone's going to freaking buy you. You've inspired me, <laughs> you've inspired me, you know what my secret passions is? Yeah. Rapping. Rapping. But everybody says I'm Just rubbish find rapping. that kind of rap that people are going to like enjoy, period. There's no one rule to one thing. There you, there you have it, Omotola has inspired me. The, over the next few weekends, maybe even practice, week, practice, I will practice, practice. I will sing practice. Sing or do it to other people and, what and let that? them find their enjoyment in it. You'll feature me on your album, yes? We'll talk about that later. Oh. I don't even have an album yet. Well, when, <laughs> as you're working on it, you, you know, include me and just say, oh, Tools is going to feature on this track. Send me something, let me listen to it. See? <laughs> you're already crushing my spirit. You gave me hope you're you already my spirit. fighting, you know, with me as the most butalicious woman. So <laughs> now you want me to put you on that. But you come on, you know you own that title, right? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh my god, look at this. look at the way she looked at me. That was one of those before and cut. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was like it's oh, so really. Good. Now that you brought that up, let us talk about the body. Congratulations on that, by the way. Very nice. On what? No homo. <laughs> on what? No, on the body. On the body. What yes. happened to the body? Because <laughs> it's very Britishicious. <laughs> it was. And I said that. no homo. <laughs> All right. All right then. Thank you. Okay. So, um, as well as you know, being an actress, being um, a singer, and everything, a lot of people know you for. Mm -hmm. This. Mm -hmm. That's the best way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so and I still get castigated for that too. So. <laughs> so how do you how do you feel about it? Are you at the stage where you're like, oh, get over it already, or do you just kind oh, of no, just don't say, get over this it. is me? <laughs> no, love this it. is me. Love it. Love it. Love it. You know what I mean? Um, I I I'm happy about it because I believe that Africans and Black people need to redefine what beauty is. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people who think stick thin is beautiful. Yeah. I believe that you should be toned. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it'll be you know fat and flabby or whatever. Even if I was fat, I wouldn't say, oh, you know, fat is the best thing. But if I'm fat, then, and I'm happy the way I am for that time. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, own it. Don't make people feel like, um, you know, however they are is a sin. Because it's not. You know, mm. the, truth of, the truth of life is, however anybody is in their life at any particular time, they need to feel okay with it. Mm -hmm. And you're not the one who's going to tell me that it's wrong. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. I know that I want to change. So I don't need you to preach that to me. Like, shut up. Shut up already and go fix yourself. You have things you need to fix. Yeah. Sorry, I feel like it was a bit of an Oprah moment. I, I just had to say that. Like, shut up. Okay. okay? You don't need to tell me, oh, you know, well, you need to get toned. That, that. Like, who told you I don't have a brain? I can't think. Uh, that was actually going to be my next question. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about the uh, comments, the, the negative comments? Because, um, I don't know, I guess there's this idea that a lot of people think that you know women in entertainment they have to be a certain size and you know if you're above the size you really shouldn't be in, ent in entertainment so how do you feel about that go create your own rules employ your own people live in your own world and let's see how that works for you <laughs> you know i mean 
seriously entertainment is what it is entertainment okay not there is no there is no one thing that appeals to anybody mm -hmm. you know different things appeal to different people okay there are people who would look at someone who's stick thin and love them and there are people who would look at those same people and it's you know it will you know irritate them and but that's even besides the point the point actually is this leave and let leave okay everybody at every time is always trying to get better that's that's the that's the bottom line there is no one person who looks at themselves even stick thin people you, you do you see models yeah. And you know, and you f you feel like this person is perfect, and then they start showing you some ounce of fat somewhere <laughs> that you can't see, and they're like, I need to get rid of that. So I mean, we already have issues as women, yeah. you know. Don't worsen it for us. We already know we need to get slimmer, we need to get toner. We don't need you to help us tell us every day. Okay, so the fact that I love myself and I'm, I feel like I'm fabulous and I'm extremely confident of who I am, don't mean I don't want to get better. Mm. All right. Truth of the matter is there is nothing on me that is bad all this is all good baby very good absolutely good like everywhere i get into i own it do you know what i as we go along i'm just adding more things to your title so almost almost sexy there is nothing on me that is bad it's all good okay all 100 percent good in one <laughs> like, but then weird. but then all right but then okay i'm human and I understand that there are times when, you know, as a woman, I look at some things and I go, mm, you know, this could be better or mm, this could be more toned okay. or this. And I'm not lazy. I'm not sitting down going, ah, I'm fine the way I am. Thank you very much. No, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to do mm. something about it. Gee, I wish you never left. What was there for me to go to work in a bank? That is not the gateway to heaven. There were some people that were like, oh my goodness, wow, you got to meet this person or that person. And there were some other people that kind of had, you know, not so positive things to say, like, you know, you have a family who's looking after your family while you're away and everything. So how did, how did, did you actually hear about those things and how did you feel? Um, I understand. I understand their worries and everything. But let me put those worries to rest now. My kids are all in boarding house, okay? I've had them a long time ago. <laughs> so, I mean, my last baby is 11 and he's in boarding house. So, I don't have to worry at this time, you know, taking care of them or whatever in school. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, maybe you want to worry about who's taking care of my husband. Yes. <laughs> who's taking care of the captain? Of the captain. <laughs> Let's say there are other technologies <laughs> that you can use. There are things you can use these days, okay? It's the what, 21st what, century. What exactly are you talking about? I don't know. I'm saying that with a very straight face. Can you tell? Okay. So Google, you Google said you said friend. you said technologies like w w which ones? I'm precisely? using technology. <laughs> there's things you can, can use now. Okay, there are, there are things couples can use to take care of themselves. You don't have to be there physically. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is something gonna leak soon? Is that what you're going? With? Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. I said nothing. Okay. But you know we're good. We're All good. Right. We're very good. We're adults. We we know what we we're doing. He's okay. He gives me his blessings. He knows that my career at this time, you know, is you know, um, taking different shapes. And he's with me with you know. And he's hundred and ten percent, hundred and ten percent supportive. Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So okay. that's, that's All what All right. Matters. Okay. All right. Um, you did say that you had you've had your you know kids for you know a little while now. So you got married quite quite young. Didn't you? How old are you? How if old am I or how old was I when no, I got no, no, married? No, 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 no. How old were you when you got married? 18. Wow. 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 So how how did... Because nowadays a lot of 18 year olds, well, you know, don't get married unless oh. it's like a little Vegas thing sometimes. <laughs> so how how did that happen? How did how were you certain that this is the person that, you know, you wanted to be with when you were 18? You want the juice, right? He drugged me. <laughs> Scandal! Scandalous! <gasps> <laughs> Headline. <laughs> well, you know, I mean... I guess very early in life, I just kind of like knew what I wanted. So when I saw, when I met him rather, and when I met him and... Um, we were you dazzled by the fact that he was a pilot? Did, no. did that impress you? No. Oh, you weren't impressed? Actually, oh, wow. I, I ran away from him for that reason. Because, you know, you hear all these things about pilots, you know, them having one wife in every state and being very promiscuous. So, I mean, you know, the same myth. God forbid. No, but, you know, it's a myth that you, ha you those things you hear in those days. Yeah. Just like, you know, you hear that, you know, actors or entertainers are flirts or, you know, or prostitutes or something, you know, those are the things that used to go around in those days, you know, so th those are the things we heard about pilots. And I, I feared for that. So I, I ran away from him for that reason. But he showed himself to myself and my family to be a very responsible person. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of grew, you know, I understood him as time went on and I, I grew very comfortable with him. 
So imagine if you were single and you were still in this industry. Is there anyone that you kind of, I mean, it, it happens to everyone where you kind of think, man, if I wasn't married, you. <laughs> I for sure this boy something. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. So yes, you, you are you are very, very, very much married. And this is, you know, no disrespect to Captain. Well done, sir. So, um, Don't yes. worry, he understands. He knows. So if there was, if, 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 let's say, you know, you weren't married, who, I mean, just one or two people you kind of think, I was shocked. I would have shown you or something. Um, so start with the ones you like and then see if I fancy them. No, 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 we're not talking about that. Just you. Okay, let's just start. Jim Mike. He's my brother. So, Van Vicker. Mm, maybe. Um, who else? Who else is there? <laughs> Goodness, who else is there? RMD. Uh, he's my boss. Okay, all right, let's go into the music industry because you're not really giving me anything here. Um, P Square. Either of the P Square guys. <laughs> no. Oh, there was a little bit. Of, <laughs> there was a little bit of a stirring there. No. Uh, no. You're my baby. You're not supposed to sleep with anyone but me. I'm your baby. Basil, I'm your baby, and you left me here for weeks, and you didn't tell me where you were going to. Okay, what's easy? What's easy? What easy? Uh, I was out there trying to make money for you to live this business. Oh, please. And for me to marry you. All right. Um, so let's talk about the uh, different projects, the different charity projects that you have. Because last year you did something fantastic. Um, you did, you got, got a group of widows together and you gave them makeovers and oh my goodness, the transformations were awesome. Like I remember looking through the pictures and I looked at the after and I looked at the before and I'm like, is this the same person? I know, right? So why did you, why do you think it was important to do that? Um, I, I, I feel like women, you know, the same things we, we talked about earlier, a lot of women feel pressure to do so many things because we, we multitask a lot you know and so we're always very busy well you know you're either running the home or you're trying to help your husband you know or you're making money or you have problems you know family problems you know so women always put themselves last mm. you know what I mean and then imagine that tripling you know when you're a widow because now everything is on you yeah and my mother was a widow for a very long time and i understood these things my mother was a very beautiful woman but before she died you know those years before she died i saw her i saw her doing you know i, I saw her her beauty and everything fade away because she was so she was worried you know she was yeah laden with so yeah. many worries and problems mm -hmm. and everything and i remember um one of the things that i ever thought about in my life was if if she was still alive you know now that i'm you know older and i know what it truly means i would have just loved you know to treat her just treat her, give her a treat. And these are some of the things that we take for granted in life, you know. Because most widows, when you give them money, they will spend it on their children yes. anyway. Yes. That's the truth. And so for me, I didn't want to just give them money. You wanted to you do know, something and then for they them. Would, I wanted to do mm. something for them, for them. You know, they don't have husbands to tell them they are beautiful. And for a woman, your self-confidence comes from you feeling, that, feeling that you're beautiful, feeling that you're accepted, you know, that you, you look good, you're okay. The minute a woman feels that way, it, you know, it shows yeah. in everything else around her, you know. And, and so I wanted to give that to them. Authentic Devil's Girl uniform worn by Mia, a member of last year's team. I see the current bid on the sheet is at $850. Can anyone give me a thousand? Yes! Fifteen hundred. I have two. Twenty-five hundred. Three. Now I've got four. Akon, baby, help me out. Drive this baby up for me, would you? Whatever you want, baby. Five thousand. Woo! You are looking beautiful on my telephone, girl. Welcome. Did you hear that? Is it Quintan? Not yet. All right, thank you so much, Amatala, for stopping by. It has been very, very interesting chatting with you. And I kind of feel somewhat empowered. That's yeah. what I wanted you to I think, feel like. I think some of your super sexiness has rubbed off on me. Ooh. Thank like you, you didn't have enough already. <laughs> I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted more. Take it off. Take it off, tools. <laughs>